Breaking news. Buhari's federal government finally to release Mazen and the Kano, according to Chief Mbazilike Amechi. Chief Mbazilike Amechi, a first republic minister of aviation, has assured that Nam Dekano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, will soon be released. Chief Amechi gave the assurance while addressing journalists in Onisha, Anambra State, ahead of Kano's court hearing coming up on Friday, 8 March 2022. Welcome to Is This Report, where we bring you videos on people, politics, and entertainment as they happen. Remember to subscribe, comment, and hit on the notification bell. In this way, you will never miss anything as we bring you the latest news every day. Now, the details of the news. The former Minister of Aviation, last year had led a delegation of Igbo elders to a meeting with President Mohamed Buhari on Kano's release. However, Amechi said that despite Buhari's assurances of releasing the IPOB leader, Kano is still in detention. He said Igbo elders met with President Buhari shortly after Kano's arraignment in court and told him to release him for them to go home and discuss with him the next Igbo agenda. And Buhari gave us an assurance, and ever since then, negotiations between us and the federal government have been on how to free Mazen and the Kano. Although I am disappointed that up till now, Buhari has not released him, despite assurances he gave to us on the day we visited him in Asorok. All hope is not lost as we are sure that Nam Dekano will soon be released based on the ongoing negotiations. I will call on those agitating for one thing or the other to remain calm and be hopeful. Although these agitations have demonstrated that only the release of Kano we stop the agitations and we are working towards his release. Obviously, it has been said by many parties that peace in the South is depends on the release of Mazen Nam de Kanu, who has been in a DSS uh, detention for many months now. I mean, but it has been a kind of more wind than action because. Um, I remember that Ebony State Governor Dave Umahi once claimed that he was working, discussing with uh, Buhari on how to release Mazen Nam the Kano. Unfortunately, we never saw him in a meeting with Buhari regarding that, and there has not been any proof about it. And actually, he was uh, quickly debunked by uh, Ohanez Ndibo, which accused him of trying to rip where he did not uh, sow. They claim that it was actually the elders who are making the move and that um, the go governor Dave Umayi has nothing to do with it. Sometime also the Abia state governor, uh, Dr. Kezie Ikbazu, he, he once said that uh, he was really to talk to anybody by any inclination, including even the uh, IPOB or whoever, just to have uh, peace in Abia state, uh, in particular in the southeast in general. Um, as far as we know, that we have not seen any meeting take place. So it was um, one of those uh, wind. And um, also, presently, the latest of uh, the governors, the governor uh, of Anambra State, uh, Professor Charles Chukoma Soludo, has um, gone to town promising that he was going to do something about um, Nam Dekanu, that is being detained by the federal government of Nigeria. Um, disappointedly, though, when he was asked by um, uh, Channel Television in an interview if he knows what the charges against uh, Nam Dekan was, he, he, he kind of disappointed everybody when he said that um, he's not even sure what they are charging him for. So that's very strange because... Um, 
I remember the journalist also told him that uh, the charges are in public domain. How could you say that you don't know and you are working to release him? Anyhow, that's um, the situation with uh, Charles Oludo, you know, our governors, the way they work. Right. He's also contending at the same time with the city at home, which the IPOB is using as a means to pressure the federal government to take action on uh, Mazin and the Kano. Some people are for him, many are against him because all the actions he has taken so far, it looks that he have not stopped the city at home, that people are still observing that um, to press on their demand for the release of uh, Mazin and the Kano. Uh, then again, the Southeast uh, Senate Caucus, led by uh, Enyinaya, Senator Enyinaya Baribe and Senator Ike Ukuremado, uh, let us, made us understand that they actually paid a visit to Mazin Namdekanu in the DSS uh, facilities in Abuja to discuss with him. All said and done, all these actions um, have not actually led to the release of uh, Mazin Namdekanu. And um, only the Senate caucus and uh, the elders led by uh, Chief Mbazuka um, Amoichi that we could confirm that they actually made some moves. But so far, no result have come out of it. The big question actually following is like the federal government kept uh, uh, on with a food dragon with uh, bringing this matter to trial and uh, dispensing it with the whole matter. Um, they, they, they don't show any willingness to act. It looks like they just want to keep this uh, young man behind bars as long as they could to achieve whatever aim that um, they want to. Well, it's arguable that uh, it's a big mistake on the part of the federal government to have uh, renditioned the Amazon and the Kano all the way from Kenya to Nigeria because it has not solved any problem. Uh, rather, things are getting more complicated and uh, one could say worse, especially in the southeast area where the youths are very uh, kind of um, restless. They want to get this matter dispensed with one way or the other because uh, the actions and the inactions of the government and the people in the southeast can be seen to be affecting businesses and um, everybody, for that matter. So I think um, it is time the federal government has to do what they have to do. Either you try the young man, dispense with the case, say if he's guilty or if he's not guilty. Otherwise, you release him because um, the insecurity situation in the whole of Nigeria is on the high level at the moment and the southeast have also been dragged into the matter the southeast of nigeria used to be one of the peaceful most peaceful areas in nigeria right that's all we have to say on this one i will just ask you if you enjoy today's content subscribe if you haven't done already and hit the bell so you won't miss uh, out on new videos once again thank you so much and be sure to leave a comment down below from all of us here at Izizi Reports. See you next time.